I love Cadillacs. I love old Cadillacs. Pink Cadillac, Joan, 1959. I love old Cadillacs. Look at this thing. Oh, look at this thing. It is, it's as big as our fifth wheel. Joan and I are going to a different place today. This is called the Miles Through Time Automotive Museum in Clarksville, Georgia. Not too far from the campground. Uh, we understand that the car collection in here is really something. Let's go inside and see what we can find. I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, we just walked in through those big red doors there as we came through the front. And uh, when they're talking about uh, Miles Through Time Automotive Museum, well, I know we're talking about horsepower, but these were uh, single horsepower vehicles. <laughs> Can you imagine, Joan, having to travel in something like this? Now, this would have been, I guess, kind of fancy. Look at that old leather. Yeah. But um, look at that. That no, is I, something. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Well, they're supposed to have quite an extensive, um, quite an extensive collection. Oh my word would you look at the look at these model a's joan one of the things i'm liking here is we can get up close what year does it say what year this is a 1922 look at this are these wood yeah look at that the wheels were wooden on the model a's and you know what uh you know what colors that um mr ford said that you could get your model a's in black yeah, he said any color as long as it was black. Look at this. Oh my goodness, and they've got a little history on each one of these. <laughs> 22 horsepower. Original sale price, $975. I guarantee you, you wouldn't touch- $975? 900 for a night in 1922. I guarantee you this one will not sell for that now oh my goodness this is incredible and this is just one of one of many here's another one look at this one these are all just single here's a 1924 original sales price 200 and 295 dollars oh because that this is the two-door and that one's got a back seat in it so that's a bigger unit look at that wow and then, and these are, I'm not going to touch them because I don't want to leave fingerprints on them, but the, the hard tops on them. And I remember my grandfather talking about when they take trips in these things, they would always discuss how many flat tires they had in their trip. <laughs> look at that. And then here is a 19, look at this, Joan, a 1915 Model T three-door touring i guess this is a touring because it's a convertible wow this is incredible absolutely oh this is joan this is a police car are you serious yeah you can see the siren over here that the uh, the trim on it this one's fancy the trim on it is brass is that the lights the there's your lights light? And I imagine those were probably what they call carbide. <clears throat> they put carbide in water and then light them. I think those were carbide. I'm sure somebody on the channel that knows more about this than I do this can correct me. Yeah, there's the siren. They push on it. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is that cool or what? I didn't, I, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't expect this. What a museum. This one is a 24, 1927. Roadster, Roadster pickup. 1927. Originally sold for $381. It's wild. That was a lot of money back then. Oh yeah, that was a lot of money. I think people used to make quite a, a dollar a day, something like that. That would have been a year's wage. Yeah. Oh, and it just gets better. Now they're getting fancy. Spoked wheels. This one's... Jim, this one has a rumble seat. Can you imagine riding in the back of this rumble seat? Oh, this is, this is a 1930. A 30? Oh, this is incredible. Wow, they've got these roped off. I can't get too close to them. 
It was the original price was how much? Five forty-five and nineteen what? Nine hundred forty-five dollars. It's a nineteen thirty. Nineteen thirty. A coupe deluxe. This is pretty fancy. Now we're starting to see color. I'm assuming this is all original color, and you're seeing electric lights now. Yeah. Bulbs. There you go. You can kind of see the inside here. Kind of plush. Now this has cloth in here. Look at that. Oh, I see the speedometer, 10,678 miles. And here's another 1930 coupe. This one too has the rumble seat on it. Wow, and it just keeps going. Look at this. Look at the old cord board. Where did this come from? This is, uh... An old cord board there. Beautiful, beautifully restored vehicles. And it just goes on and on. Look at these. A 1929, a 1931 two-door. A, a Woody. A night. This is amazing. A 1930 Woody station wagon. Wow, Joan, this is, uh, do you wonder where, where the name Woody came from? Look at this, that's something. Even the back is all wood. Wow, what a restoration. Let's see if we can take a peek inside here. There you go. I can't see the engine compartments, so I can't tell if they're all original, but. The family touring vehicle. Well, we've got a mixture of here. This old Plymouth here is a 1939 Plymouth Coupe. Starting price, $649. <laughs> now we've really got quite a collection here. It's just a... The restorations on these are just mind-blowing. Look at this. And Jim, that's what, a 53? Two door. Two door four. Mom had a 53, 54, 54 four door. That's what I learned to drive in. Straight shift, what we used to call a three on the tree. But to find a two door. Oh, I wish the windows were rolled down. These restorations are amazing. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Just beautiful. So just to show you luxury, 53 Ford custom line for 1,582 original price. And then you get to early luxury, this uh, Studebaker Champion, 1950, $2,287. Uh, substantial, look at the front end of that thing. Is that wild? What a car. Oh, I can see inside this one. There you go. Even the shop manual from 1950. Wow. Look at the big clock there in the radio. That is something. Look inside there. That's crazy. See what the back end of this thing looks like. The cars here are amazing. A little bit of a mixture of age here. We're getting into the hot rods of my era. 1970 Grand Sport. We used to call these GSs. As a matter of fact, the emblem said GS. These were sleepers. I can assure you of that. Uh, this one had a 400. I had a buddy that had one of these. So it, had a, it was a, just an absolute beast. Beautiful car. It was a beast. Here's another GS. I think this one may be the same year, maybe. No, 72. And this one has the uh, 455. That's what my buddy had in his. And it was just a 
screamer. It was terrifying. <laughs> Another three GSs in a row. Beautiful, beautiful vehicles. Another 1970. Back into the 60s again, an old Plymouth station wagon. Look at that thing. What is that? U.S. Air Force. This is a, what they call it. <laughs> a Plymouth Suburban 1961. How about that for a Suburban? Is this a Fairlane? Galaxy. Galaxy 500. Remember my old 69? This is a 62. 62 two. Oh, this is a four door. An AMX. Oh, these were hot rod go fast cars. Two AMXs. There is no AMX anymore. These were. Another AMX, a 1970. These are wild cars back in my high school days. Wild cars. Here's two of them. Look, one with the scoop and one without. And we're seeing kind of a kind of a jump around in some of the time periods. Model T, Model A. Then we kind of get a mixture of you know 50s, 60s, and 70s over here. Um, the cars are amazing. You, even even the older ones that haven't been you know, really restored or anything like that. It's just really great to see them in the condition they are. Here's some more. There's your, there's your Falcon. This is a 65. See, they, they start getting that kind of a Fairlane look. Yours was, your old 60 was, the tank as we called it, was all round and, and it looked like a tank too. It was army green. This, uh, this is the foundation here that they built the first Mustang on, the 65. Had a lot of Falcon parts in it. Old Stingray, that's gotta be, what, a 72 or three? 72. 72, hey, I still know my cars. 72. T-top, these were your old T-tops, Joan. I remember these. Instead of being a convertible, these panels popped off. Yeah. And uh, these were fancy, fancy, fancy cars in the 70s. I love that body style. There you go, NASCAR fans. I'm one. One of Bill's cars. I don't know the prominence, what he won or might not have won in it. Look at that. Thunderbat. Forgot that he raced for Mickey D's. Joan, come here and think about sitting in this seat for 500 miles, going 200 miles an hour. It looks pretty safe. Doesn't look comfortable. Oh, I love Cadillacs. I love old Cadillacs. Pink Cadillac, Joan, 1959. I love old Cadillacs. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at this thing. It is, it's as big as our fifth wheel. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. From the back window, Joan, or from the back seat, uh -huh. to here, I think it'd be full of bodies. Look at that. You can always tell the 59s, all your 59s had those big upswept, upswept wings on them. That is something. A pink caddy. There you go. That is something. What, what a car. What a car. And we're getting into them now. A 2022 Ford GT500. A 2022, y'all. Sells for $150,000. $150, How in the world did a original price was $150? Buy it now. 
you can even find one. What's the horsepower on it, Joan? Can you find it? What a vehicle. Carbon fiber wheels. Just look at the back of this. Oh, we've got a bunch of Cobras in here. That is something. Can you find the horsepower on it? Seven. 760. Horsepower. Horsepower. <laughs> what a beast. What a beautiful, beautiful car. Over here's another GT, GT500. So look, here's a 2022 GT500. That's going to be probably, uh, I'm going to have to look, 66, 67, something like that. So both of these are GT500s, Cobras. I'm going to think that's a 60, before I look, 60, 67. <gasps> look at Jerry. Oh, man, you're awesome. That's a 67. 355 horsepower, beautiful vehicle. That is beautiful, just beautiful. Something you don't see every day, a 2007 signed Carroll Shelby GT. Well, these are some kind of rare. Oh, we've got two of them in a row. Beautiful Shelby GT. There you can see the, you can see it on the racing stripe. That is something. Here's another signature Carol Shelby, the Hell Horse. This is a 2005. And it's got the signature seats in it. Cobra Shelby. With the racing shifter, the whole gamut. This is the real deal. 52 Willis. Great condition for, for probably what it's been through, complete with the radio gear in the back. Here's a, another G, I'm not sure if this is a Willis. It's got the 30 cal in it, 30 caliber machine gun. Look at that. Oh, and an old Tommy. Look at that. These things are in incredible condition. I'm not sure if this is a Jeep though. No, this is a, what they call a Ford script. Die cast, I, I'll just show you a sample of the die cast collection. It is massive. Just all the die cast cars, uh, planes, school buses. It just, if you're a die cast fan, this is, this is really something. Uh, this is referred to as the Truett Phillips collection. He's associated with this facility. This may be one of the older pieces that is in here. A 1902 curved dash Osmobile. That is something. That is something. Go, brake, and that is your steering. I'm looking for, for how you, oh, here you go. I guess that's how you cranked it. And this might be your throttle here. Oh, there's your throttle. Emergency brake maybe? Wow. All wood. That is something. 1902. Once in a while you'll see those in an old Western movie when the, they're going from horses to vehicles. Uh -huh. This is... You always see these stuck on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> what about this? Eagle Bus Lines, Inc. Phone, 1890. Ride with us, an old dual seater. Great museum, we've reached the exit. This was quite a place, wasn't it, Joan? Yeah. Uh, old memories from some old cars that we knew I of. And... show this, because I had one of these when I was a little girl. I know, look at these, the old pedal, the old pedal cars. Uh, did you really? The old fire chief? Yeah. Old pedal cars. Lots and lots of old pedal cars. Old bicycles. Pretty cool.
Look at the old Indian motorcycle. Do, what year is this? Do you know? They're tribute bikes. They're 1920s tribute bikes. 1920 tributes. Wow. Look at that. That's wild. All right, Jen, what do you think about the Miles Through Time Automotive Museum? This was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, very, very amazing. It really was something, a fantastic collection. We, uh, we had a great time here. All right, we got more to see. Okie doke. On the front side of the museum, you have this arts and antique area, and then you've got a grill that's over there. But I could not walk away without stopping and seeing this place. Would you look at this old log cabin this thing is something i mean it is oh <laughs> i can't find any history on it uh, i ask around it does have some surface challenges up there about midways i don't know that we can go inside i'll pull on the handle and see if we can peek in i just want you to see these these hand hewn logs and I'm assuming this thing was moved from somewhere you can see marks maybe at some point in time I'm not sure again I don't know the history on it I wish I could share that fall has sprung color in the trees and again I don't know if I can peek inside oh I wish I could or even better yet go inside look at this I don't know There's no sign that says that I can't. Oh, would you look at this. I won't go far. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is really something. Well, that's as far as I'll take it. I'll close this up. Wow, what a place. What a place. Look at that. That is really something. That is old, 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 y'all. <laughs>